Hello everybody, welcome back to some e-sniping action. We're jumping right into the game of map number two between Darth e-sniping and TSU. After standoff capture flag, Darth, they took that one 5-2. to two. We're moving to raid for some search and destroy. And let's kick it off with Trips. He's going to be the bomb carrier now for e-sniping. There's so many positions that are a lot more advantageous as opposed to traditional competitive play. Nice shot from Trips, by the way. But, for example, this blue van right in front of him, very effective power position because it's so tough to blow up cars and vans and e-sniping. You got to shoot them with a ton of bullets. But Trips actually looked right at Mayhem inside top laundry. But maybe he didn't see him. I saw it on his screen. So Mayhem is going to be over near laundry. Devil, in the meantime, he's all the way over near the pool stairs. So both these players for TSU pretty far spread out. So that's one thing working in the advantage of Scar right here. As he finds himself in a one-on-two situation. There's a player right in the middle of the map if he peeks right if he peeks through zigzag, no, actually does not spot him there. But Mayhem, you see him pushing up towards that blue van I was talking about. And it's going to be tough for Scar to do this because time is also winding down. Not on his side here. It's 30 seconds remaining. He's also got to go pick up the bomb. And it takes five seconds to plant. But he's going to run right into Mayhem around the corner. Spots him. Can he pick up the kill? Challenging around. Mayhem jumping on the block. Not going to work in his favor. Scar moving in for the kill. In the meantime, you see Devil moving around the back. And he's going to be the one picking up the kill. We're going to watch him one more time. And now we're around ending kill cam here as Devil moving over. Ah. You see that player card, Ron? <laughs> Not something I want to be looking at, but Devil, he picks up the kill in the round any kill cam as they, TSU, are going to win the first round. I don't want to watch you, Devil. Let's go on board with your teammate, Air, though. Actually, Devil's going to be the one picking up the bomb. I'll keep him highlighted on the mini-map, but we're going to see what this guy, Air, can do here up the start. pre snipes going down by both squads as Scar, he's eventually going to push up near front laundry. He gets first blood as he cleans up after Air. Moving for the cleanup kill. He finds him over near the blue van. Hard scope. He's going to miss here, so Scar is going to try to retaliate as you see on the kill feed. Mayhem and Devil both picking up kills, so two on two now as Trips was able to clean up Air, but you see Devil and Mayhem left alive. Make it just Devil now. One on two, he knows. One's over near laundry, and there you go. Picks up the kill on the trips, but Zono, he's going all the way around near the granite side of the map. So if Devil wants, could go for that plant, but of course he doesn't know exactly where Zono is. But we have that luxury, you know, where everyone's located at every time. He's going to find him. Top art. Is he going to go for the wall bang? Nope. Finds him in the window as Devil putting TSU in his backpack so far in the first two rounds of search and destroy. Kids, cover your eyes. You don't want to see that. But nice shot from Devil as once again he's in your round any kill cam for TSU. And I'm going to go ahead and pop up the scoreboard at the start of this round because I think he's got maybe four kills to his name. He's got five. He's five and zero. Lucky for Darth that there are no score streaks in East Night. Otherwise, he'd be working up towards his Hellstorm missile right now. But I think we got to stay on board with Scar here for Darth. I want to see what this guy could do. He's one of the better players for Darth, I believe, in the respawn game tights. But First Blood will come in for Mayhem. He takes out Trips. But Darth, they're going to continue working the B-bomb sides. You see Aaron Mayhem. They're defending for TSU. Now let's go on board with the action now. It's going to be Zono as his teammate Zooms just got taken out right in front of his eyes. Looking for the cleanup kill. As Aaron, he's pushed up next to the bomb site. Zono finds one. There goes Mayhem. Neptur, or Neptur, he got taken out as well. Shots going down near the middle of the map as... Devil was able to take out Scar and Zono. He's going to go for the challenge. He sees his gun sticking up. Picks up the kill. Nice shot coming from Zono. Good patience as well as Air left all alone. One-on-one -on -one situation. He's all the way near back laundry. So Zono looks like he is going to go for the challenge here. These players, they are going to meet up. Zono gets the shot off. Picks up Air in the back. So Darth, they're on the board here as they win their first round. And here's how it happened in the round ending kill cam. Zono coming out of kitchen the same time air decides to backtrack and check out that b-bomb site easy up there for zono as dart they went their second round in a row so actually no that was their first round i'm sorry so darth they're on the board here it's funny because i said that earlier and then for some reason I, I saw the two but the two rounds are for tsu so they're up by one round they got one round to work with what are they going to decide to do here devil with the jump shot but they got to get past Scar here. He's the first line of defense for Darth, and he's pushed up near the laundry side of the map. Eric, furthest one pushed up. Nice line of sight here coming from Devil. 
trying to shoot at the cankles, but Scar was already cleaned up by Nepter. Zooms retaliates by taking off Mayhem from TSU. So three on three, make it a three on two, as it looks like Zooms fell as well. Wongbang's going through top laundry. Devil did spot someone. It's going to be Air moving in for the kill, it looks like. Actually, Air turned around. Devil's still trying to challenge. What is Air doing? So he's just kind of push up over near the blue van, and so far... We've seen some very slow pushes from the offensive guys. They try to pick out off the player near the blue van, then they try to get laundry, and then after they get laundry, they're of course going to go for the plant, the B bomb site. But three on two now, man count in favor of TSU. Action about to go down near Nepter, it looks like. Actually, he's far away. He's going to have to rotate back for this one as his teammate airs left all alone over near the ring side of the map. Nepter finds one mill. Nice shot. He's going to clean up trips right there. So Zono is the last one alive, takes out the bomb planner, but. He's got a player right behind him. It's going to be Nepter inside Art. Only 10 seconds. He's got to go for the bomb plan. Can Nepter hit the shot? Zono crosses the corner before he is spotted as time is going to wind down. Nepter, he does not have enough time to go for the bomb plan. But if Zono sp shows himself here, he could get picked off. He's going to challenge the bomb site. Finds the kill. All he needs to do is run away, and he does just that. Smart heads up play come from Zono right there as he's going to win his team the round and tie things up. Two rounds apiece, and here's the kill that made it all happen. Picks off the bomb planter. Uh, and play some ring around the rosy for the win. So Darth, after four rounds, we're going to be tied up two rounds apiece here now. We're going to be playing first to six rounds, just like in traditional competitive play. So each team, of course, you're good at math. You know that they have to win four more rounds. But let's pop up our scoreboard here. So Zono, he's on top five and two. Devil's six and two for his team. Oh, man. Zoom's almost hitting that jump side. He's going for it again. A little bit... Uh, it's a little bit dangerous because he saw Eric. He was lined up for that shot, but you see Trips. He takes control of the blue van, which is a good power position to hold if you're trying to lock down the ring side of the map. Double first blood as he cleans up Zono. So Darth, they're down a man early on in the round. Scar, you see him peeking out middle map. Finds one over near the pool stairs. Immediately backs up as Trips. He's making advancements towards the launch side of the map. He's about to meet up with Eric. He keeps pushing up these stairs here. 50 seconds remaining, and he's also got the bomb in his hand, so he needs to make something happen fairly soon. I believe he was just spotted by Air. Oh, man, he's also spotted by Mayhem over near Top Laundry. So, TSU, they know exactly what's going on, but Trips is able to make something happen as he picks up one kill. Just glimpsed, caught a glimpse of Mayhem over near Top Laundry. He's going to back up. Action going down near the middle. It's going to be Scar forced to back up here, but Trips... Mose will make a good trade right there, one for one, but time winding down. 20 seconds left on the clock, a two-on-two two situation. Scar looks like he's going to move in for the bomb pickup, but Devil, he's in position to make the kill, and Scar, now he knows it. Jump snipe, he's going to miss here. As these guys are going to be battling it out, but time is not on Dart's side right here. Scar picks up one. Mayhem, all he needs to do is run away. He's going to challenge one shot left for Scar. He's got to reload here. Four, three, two, one. Oh, Mayhem is going to clutch it out for TSU. They're going to take the lead here and search and destroy it. And here's how it happened. You're going to see the run and kill cam come from Mayhem. And all he had to do was run away after this. As that player for Darth just did not have any more bullets left. Rough situation to be in. But TSU, they take the lead here, but it's only one round. There's still plenty of rounds left to play as these teams... They're just going back and forth with each round. Now at TSU, they find themselves on offense, and we have yet to see an A push. It's a bit tricky to make it work in e-sniping because you don't have smoke grenades to cover you as you cross to, cross to the bomb site. The defense, they get the early positioning there, so it's so tough to guess where they're going to be. And, of course, if they get first sight of you with the sniper, you're most likely going to die. Devil, he misses the cankles. Who is this with Scar? You Got a bit lucky right there, but Devil misses his shot. Zoom's making plays happen. Finds Devil. Being aggressive over near Art. He's going to get cleaned up by Eris. Scar, he's on a two-kill spree. It's going to be Mayhem and Nepter left alive for TSU. And Nepter, he's about to pick up a kill. There you go. Back on board with Mayhem. He's in the action right now. Scar just missed him. Checking the wrong corner, unfortunately. But Mayhem just spotted him. Scar will be able to clean up that one. So it's all up to Nepter. Scar, he's looking for the ace. As here we go. He's going to find after here. Picks up the kill. All four kills in the round going to Scar. Well played by him. As he ties things up for his team. Three rounds apiece. See it here in your round. Any kill cam finds net there near the bottom of the zigzag stairs. Making it look easy as Scar. But moving into round number seven. We're getting towards the end of the map here. Both these teams only got to win three more rounds if they want to close this one out. And then they will be advancing to the semifinals. And right now we got the other quarterfinals match going on. And that is between, it looks like, 
Platypus Snipe. It looks like Obey and A, they were able to win that one. So it's Platypus Sniping going up against Obey and A in the top side of the bracket. And we're currently at the bottom side of the bracket, which is Darth and A versus TSU. And the winner of this match is going to go up against Reflex E Sniping. So tough match ahead for whoever wins this one, but... Back into the game here, you see that's a 3 on 2 situation as Zona was able to take out Nectar there. So, man advantage does go to TSU as Zona, he's trying to make something happen inside the kitchen. If he picks up this skill, teams will both be even in terms of the man count. Nice no, taking shots. Also on the other side, he sees Zooms. Oh man, he just missed the shot on the Mayhem. Mayhem was standing still. Stu Zooms looks like he missed his shot and Zona, he gets cleaned up by air. Zooms gets taken out shortly after. So, if TSU can win this map, they will force a game three, which is going to be a hard point on raid, I believe. I'm going to double check that right now. But there's your round any kill cam. Devil able to pick up the kill. Yeah, it's actually going to be a hard point express. Switching operation ready. Okay. Search and destroy. All right. So just got word from my producer. Whoever wins this match, they're going to be featured on stream for the rest of the tournament. So we'll be watching the next match, and then we'll watch the winner of that match. But Zooms, I want to see the defensive set from these guys, because it looks like TC, they're going to a nice shot from Zooms. Takes out Nectar off the start. So Zono, he's in charge of spotting this A push. You saw who is this pushing up. I believe it was Air was able to make plays happen over to the pool stairs. So that's kind of step one for these offensive guys. They want to get control of pool stairs, kind of work the middle of the map from there, and then keep pushing that A bomb site. But Zono... He has other plans, and here comes Scar and Trips. They're able to make kills happen. It's off to Mayhem. Good Quickly job. cleaned up as we're going to watch him around any kill cam. As you're going to have Scar on your screen, finds one moving towards the Tiki Hut. His teammate Trips finds one more, and he's like, get out of my building. Easy shot for a Scar as it's all tied up once again. Both these teams are just kind of trading rounds back and forth. But now only two rounds to see. Whoever wins two rounds, they will win the game. Looks like Zooms, he's having some technical issues at an unfortunate time as well because his team, they're looking to close this one out. If they win this map, they advance to the semifinals. You see the bomb carrier push up towards ringside. Zono trying to make something happen. But he did force a good rotation from the TSU you guys. They put two players in. Actually, Air is going all the way to the kitchen. So this is an opportune moment for Scar and Trips to make something happen over near the B-bomb site. The guy get past, it's going to be Mayhem inside top laundry and trips. He doesn't know it just yet, but if he jumps up, he could get picked off by Mayhem. Who will see it. So there's where Mayhem is located. Zono finds one at the pool stairs. Nice shot. Cleans up Devil. While you see Chips now knows that Mayhem is inside laundry. Looks like he must go for that bomb plant, though. Bit of a risky play as Mayhem, if he jumps up right here, would it be able to pick up that kill, but... Doesn't do that as now Zono making plays happen over the laundry. Finds air, but one more inside. You saw him on your screen now. Mayhem. He's looking for the revenge kill as Scar falls to Nectar. Looks like Zooms. He decides to move out of his spawn and he's going to try to help out his teammates over near the bomb site. One player moving through the pillars as Trips. He's front laundry and it's all up to Mayhem here. 1v3 bomb planted as well. Knows he's getting flanked, turning around and. He finds trips there, but can't pick up the kill. So now Darth there, one round away from advancing to the East sniping semifinals here. And you see it one more time on your round any kill cam. Good stuff from Darth so far, but that's a, this is actually the first time in this whole match that a team has been able to string together two rounds. It's the first four, right? So what happened was TSU. They won two rounds. Then Darth, they won two rounds. And each team have traded rounds since until now. Darth, they have two in a row, as you see on the mini-map. TSU, they're going to be pushing the ringside of the map. Scar doesn't let that happen, as this is the blue van. So tough to take someone out of this position. As now, kills being made in favor of Darth as they make a 1-1 one -one trade. So they're going to a situation. Zona's on a three-kill spree. Scar finds one. It's all up to Nectar. TSU's tournament hopes... Their lives are on the line. Scar just spotted him, but he's going to be able to get out of there. Let's hop on board with Nectar. Finds one over near Zigzag. It's going to be Zooms. Picks up that kill, making it a one on two. Bomb is dropped over near the statue side of the map. 45 seconds remaining in the round. As you see Scar, he's just slaying back inside Art. While Zono locks down in the middle of the map, Z Nectar seems like he wants to make something happen over near the pool side of the map, but he's got to go quickly here. And if you break the glass, uh, not the play you want to make, because then they're going to know your position. As now... We have 25 seconds, and he needs to go, man. He needs to go pick up that bomb, go for the plant, or 
try to challenge one of these players. He will find Zono if he looks to his left here. Yep, finds him inside the square again, trying to pick up the skill. Here comes Scar with the help. 15 seconds remaining. It's looking very good to Darth to close this one out as Neptor just trying to find the correct line of sight. And he gets baited into Scar's line of sight, as you're going to see here. His teammate Zono just hit behind the rock. He's like, Scar, come help me out, bro. He's like, no problem, man. I got you right here. So Darth, they're going to advance to the semifinals with a 2-0 win. Let's take a look at our scoreboard here and see who performed from Darth. Who do you think is going to be on top, Ron? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Scar, yeah, you are right. 11 and 6 trips, not so far behind at 9 and 7. Zono, 9 and 5 as well. So Darth showing some strong capture of the flag and search and destroy gameplay. We're going to head to a quick commercial break. When we return, we're going to see Darth and I go up against Reflex East Sniping in our first semifinals match.